Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum my dear students. Today we will talk about breeding management of dairy cattle and buffalo. So there are uh, two breeding methods. One is natural mating. We use bull for breeding cows and it is typically called sexual intercourse. And second is artificial insemination. In this method bull is absent. We uh, artificially uh, obtain sperm or semen from a bull and then artificially deposit this semen or sperms suspension either as fresh or frozen into the female reproductive tract, typically vagina or uterus for ins for getting pregnancy. So this is a natural mating and you all should be aware of that and this one is artificial insemination. It might be a bit new for some of you. So here we use a semen straw and we insert a semen into the uterus of a cow or buffalo. This is usually done by a trained artificial insemination technician. So what are typical signs of estrus or heat in cows? The estrus cycle of cattle is period from one heat or estrus to the next. Uh, for cow this is 21 days with a typical range of 18 to 24 days in length. Similarly the same is for buffalo it is also 21 days and same is for human, uh, a human female uh, that is also 21 days. So it is a pectoral representation of estrus cycle. Estrus, uh, a cow would come in heat or estrus at, for example, zero day, and uh, it will again come into estrus or heat uh, uh, after 21 days uh, when we will able to breed the cow. So if we missed one heat, we will have to wait for another 21 days to breed that cow. So what are typical signs of heat? This is the most uh, important uh, uh, management practice, how to detect heat or estrus. The first sign is restlessness. The cow will be restless. She would be bellowing. She will be producing a characteristic sound uh, and the farmer would know that she is in heat. Uh, third sign is swelling and redding of vulva. The outside of uh, reproductive tract is vulva you know it from the body points and it would be swelled and reddened and we will notice clear mucus discharge from vagina the cow will be mounting other cows she would be sniffing genitalia of other cows so these are typical signs of heat and another relevant uh, uh, related term is standing heat standing heat is most sexually intensive period of estrus cycle during this period, cows tend to be mounted by other cows. So she should be receptive and she would accept mounting by other cows. This is a, a pictorial representation of uh, standing heat. So this cow, the cow is down there, is in standing heat. So what is the best time to inseminate or breed a cow? In typically, we call it a service. So we usually follow AM PM rule. If a cow is first seen in standing heat in the morning, we would inseminate it in the afternoon. And if we observe standing heat in the evening, we would breed this cow in the next morning. So in simple words, we would breed or inseminate a cow after 12 hours of standing heat. When she starts showing standing heat uh, from that time, count on 12 hours and then breed that cow. So once the cow is bred, now we will be interested to check if she is pregnant or not. So the first method of checking pregnancy is first method or easiest method is non-return to estrus. Just wait for three weeks and after three weeks, if you see the signs of heat again, then you would produce, presume this is she is non-pregnant and if there are no signs of heat or estrus, 
she must be pregnant second method is rectal palpation uh, this is a procedure uh, done by a veterinarian so uh, uh, the the veterinarian palpates the uh, rectum she enters her, his uh, hand his or her hand from the rectum and palpates the uterine uterus horns so if she, he feels there as uh, the horns are enlarged they are th their size is enlarged so he would technically tell that this cow is pregnant it is done between 35 to 65 days after service and third is hormone measurements as we do in human beings it can be done 24 days after service and fourth one is ultrasound examination we need an ultrasound machine for that for hormone measurements we usually eat kids but for ultrasound measurement we will need an ultrasound machine and we have it here in red agriculture university so from ultrasound examination you can easily tell if the cow is pregnant or not thank you very much for your attention if you have any question you can contact me via whatsapp email or any other board of communication thank you very much